Teachers at Hunters Woods Elementary are getting ready for a great debate. Not among themselves, but rather a debate between groups of students. not all be using pathos as their form of persuasion. The team begins by setting learning goals for their students. They'll also create a rubric to assess how well opposing viewpoints are presented. Great debate format is a useful strategy in all content areas because it strengthens reasoned decision making. What I've seen. At the beginning of the year, Mr. Zimi taught us that in great debates, no one cares about your opinion. If you state your opinion, you have to back it up with research or else it, no one cares. What we'll first do is spend a few minutes reviewing Aristotle's four appeals. Want to make sure that those appeals are understood and that they are evident in your debate. I think that the teachers have helped me to grow in learning how to convince people of your opinion through using facts and they've taught you how to research to back up your opinion so that it doesn't just sound like you're making things up on the spot, like you really know what you're talking about. Can I get a student to please stand up and demonstrate to the class what ethos would look like? Timothy, please stand up. Ethos is expertise and authority, so teachers would be experts about education and doctors would have authority for medicine. And so in a debate you could say, this doctor has proven that this toothpaste clinically cleans your teeth better than other toothpaste. Tim, would you use an attorney to be credible on toothpaste? No. A dentist would be credible yeah. about toothpaste, correct? Yes. Very good. Thank you, Tim. Can I get a student to please stand up and demonstrate what pathos would correctly look like? Jeffrey. Pathos is using emotion. So if you want a new eye touch, you can say, uh, Dad, don't you love me? I have uh, straight A's, I'm advanced in math, I get full points on my SOLs. <clears throat> I think I really deserve it. Notice Jeff is not getting up and just giving an emotional rant while using pathos. You heard him just use pieces of evidence explaining to his father why he should be given an eye touch. He's a straight A student, he's advanced in math, he's on the honor roll, all evidence. Thank you, Jeff. Can I get a student to please stand up and demonstrate what nomos would correctly look like? Jenna. Um, nomos is using shared cultural connections and beliefs to like persuade. So like you could say, um, in the world we speak English and um, our founding fathers have spoken English, so we could like we should keep speaking English in our world. Finally, can I get a student to stand up and demonstrate logos, the ability to logically reason? Justin, please stand up. Logic is evidence to persuade someone. And uh, I'm on the, uh, Dad, can you give me an iPod? Because I'm on the all A honor roll. My teachers think I'm a great student. I'm responsible with my cell phone. And this is a one week, one, once in a week in, in a year opportunity where everything in Best Buy is 60% off. That's why I think you should get me an iPod this week. That'd be a very logical reason for your father to go get one. As ancient Greek instruction infuses today's lesson, teacher Yusef Azimi creates an exercise to help strengthen presentation skills. It's the ability to distinguish between inter and intra personal skills. Stands and sits with poise is an intrapersonal skill. Can somebody demonstrate what does it mean to stand and then sit with poise and confidence? Justin, can you demonstrate what that looks like? Excellent, Justin. Can you demonstrate what sitting without poise and confidence would look like? <laughs> the most challenging part about preparing for a debate would probably be the research. But I need the sources. I need to find them. Because you have to research your topic. You have to make sure you're using one of Aristotle's four appeals. Jefferson said and what Adam said would be a great example of ethos. Students give suggestions for the topic for the debates. Mine was, do you think the U.S. should change the metric system? I would be chosen, I was chosen for pro. I may not honestly feel that way. I may want to be on the con team, but I would still have to research. Chairs, please shake hands on behalf of your teammates. As the debates begin, each student knows what to expect. This is why I believe we should keep the customary system. And then when we get into the actual debate, we use the rubrics that we've created to um, inform our instruction. In addition to the teacher rubric that we use to evaluate the students, 
the students evaluate each other. One of the goals that I set in the past while doing debates is that when people are evaluating you on the note cards to really have most of what they're writing down on the positive side and that I can use what they've written on the negative side as constructive criticism so that I can improve myself as a debater. But if everybody else then knows it... Debates have a set pattern. An opening statement, presenting alternating evidence, pro and con, and the rebuttal. But for these students, the best part is known as burning questions. Where did you get the fact that it takes a year to learn a language because different people learn at different paces? It's a way to be in the audience but still be interacting with the activity. You have something to do, you don't have to just sit there. It is true that if you start Most at a sixth age, graders participate in the debate process at Hunter's Woods. In a series of mini lessons, culminating in an actual debate, teachers and students will define the debate process, and the role of persuasion, facts, and opinions. Select appropriate topics as they seek input from students. Assign roles and responsibilities, because each group will have an opportunity to provide statements and rebuttals. Develop research skills to provide evidence for your point of view. Enhance persuasive writing skills, as word choice and the language of successful persuasion takes practice. Practice public speaking skills to think on your feet in quick, smart sentences. Listen for logical, intelligent answers because the audience Please determines the success. I believe that Pro convinced you that foreign language should stay in Fairfax County Elementary Schools. Debate really aligns perfectly with our POS and SOL objectives for the school year. Um, teaching all the language arts, I teach oral language, reading, spelling, vocabulary, and writing. And basically, I can cover all of those subjects within the Great Debates framework. Great Debates is working wonderfully here at Hunter's Woods, and all those best practices that we're expected to complete as teachers, all of those best practices are lumped into one in Great Debates. For more information on how the debate process can work in your classroom, ask your FCPS librarian for the Great Debate Guide.